Hello, Year 10 and Year 12. We're really looking forward to welcoming you back um, in the next uh, few days uh, in small groups as part of um, getting a chance to have some face-to-face -face time with uh, your teachers, if that's what uh, you wish to do. Um, these are unusual times and we need to make sure, first and foremost, that you and all of us and your families are as safe as possible. So for this short video, Mrs Donaldson and myself will just go through the arrangements for next week, for those of you who are coming in. Uh, and remember, everything is about safety. There are just a few really important things. And the first thing is, is that if you want to come in next week to a face-to-face -face session, you need to have booked online in our online system. It's really important. Um, unfortunately, we can't have anyone in who hasn't booked online. And the reason is we want to know exactly how many students are coming in so that we get everything right for you when you arrive. So first of all, please just make sure that you or your, your family have booked you in. The second thing is, um, again, for safety reasons, we're keeping to a minimum um, any kind of social time. In fact, there isn't any social time. So there won't be any break or lunch times. You'll come to school for your session and then you'll leave the site. The third thing is, is the water fountains won't be working for the same reason. So please make sure that you do bring water in with you. Um, as you can see, I'm not wearing my normal uh, school dress and we don't expect you to either. Um, so you can wear your own clothes as if it was a mufti day. Don't wear your school uniform uh, for the next um, few weeks. The fifth thing is, is that on the way to school, it's your responsibility to maintain social distancing. Really important. And remember, it's not just about you, uh, it's also about your family, because when you go home at the end of the day, you want to keep them safe as well. So make sure that you maintain social distancing. Sixth thing is, because security and safety is the most important thing, it's really important that we understand that we can only have students on site who are able to follow these instructions. So in the unlikely event that anyone can't follow these instructions, they will be asked to leave the school straight away. And finally, of course, very obvious but important, if you have any of the symptoms of COVID-19, don't come to school. First of all, this is what two metres looks like. It's essential that this is maintained for your benefit, for everybody in school's benefit, but most of all, for your family's benefit for when you get home. As you're waiting to come into school, you need to be two metres apart. As you walk into the school, two metres apart. Make sure that you bring in a coat for wet days and also that you bring some water. Don't forget the water fountains will not be working and the canteen is not open. You will not be allowed to consume any food on school premises. If you're cycling into school, then the bike sheds will be open, but the access gate to the quad, just over at the side, will not be. So you must secure your bike and then enter school through the main gate. Once you arrive to the main school gate, a member of staff will book you in, tell you which room you are going to, and you will walk towards the reception entrance door where you use the hand sanitizer unit and then you will proceed to the quad canopy area and line up in teaching group, mindful again of your social distancing. By the way, if you are a part of the Blessed Mary Ward Centre, you will use the usual gate you enter for school in the morning. So you've now come through this, the main school gate, you've gone to the hand sanitizer near reception and you've walked across here towards the entrance to the school. As you come to the school here, there'll be a member of staff stood where Mrs Donaldson is stood now and she will invite you in when you're ready to come through. It's a bit like the supermarkets have been doing for the last few weeks as well so you need to wait until you're invited in. That just means we can keep the distance between uh, everybody else. Um, when you're inside you'll be directed to where to go to and it's important that you just follow that direction. Don't go anywhere else. Uh, it'll be a one-way system. Um, so you'll use the ground floor atrium entrance to access the A corridor. Um, the main entrance, the main stairs entrance 
for B floor and if you're going to C floor you'll use the science stairs. If there's a, a fire alarm at all then um, the session will finish as you'd expect and we'll go to the uh, normal place for the fire um, alarm procedures just as, as you've done for, for a long time now. At the end of your sessions, at the end of each session uh, in the morning or the afternoon, you'll be dismissed by the teacher and uh, they will walk down with you and you'll walk straight off site and then off, your, um, off you go on your way home. And as you leave the school, you'll also be asked to uh, clean your hands again, use the sanitizer just so that you're as clean as possible before you then um, head off on your journey home. Once you get to the correct room, you will be invited in by the member of staff. You will then be told which seat to use. Don't forget to bring your equipment with you for your lessons, your exercise books and your folders for the subjects that you're coming in to study for. If you want to go to the toilet, ask the member of staff and then go directly to the toilet. Wash your hands thoroughly and dry using paper towels. Return directly to class, obviously one at a time. And in the morning session, the left hand side of each toilet block will be used and the right hand side in the afternoon session. It's really important that we keep moving in the corridors. There can be no congregating or chatting. Just get back to where you need to be. So it really is as simple as that year 10 and year 12. And we really are looking forward to seeing you. Don't worry if you don't remember all of that. There'll be lots of staff to help you and to support you, and make sure that you'll be okay. Uh, and if you've got any questions, of course, you can just ask those questions. So we look forward to seeing you and hopefully this has given you a bit of an idea what to expect.